New tonight at 10, Madison leaders come together in hopes of putting an end to gun violence. Community leaders spoke out at a gun forum earlier this evening, and our Jenna Midov was there and joins us now with the changes talked about tonight. Jenna? Well, Charlotte and Eric, these community leaders are saying they need the community's help to stop the shootings, and it starts at home. This is one of the safest cities in this country. Let's keep it that way. But after two shooting deaths in as many weeks and numerous shots fired calls, Madison leaders are taking action. We as a community cannot accept uh, these shootings happening. Uh, I get sick of hearing of uh, kids being traumatized by these issues. Uh, I'm sick of hearing kids saying that they are hiding in their basements when bullets are flying through neighborhoods. A group of community members and leaders met outside the Boys and Girls Club Friday evening to talk about solutions and pray. That included Timothy Maimon, the founder of a community intervention program for kids, speaking out against the violence. I made a challenge to all the leaders in this community to come out, let's form this, let's come to this forum and let's come up with some resolution. Forget talking about it, let's start being about it. This is Madison, Wisconsin. It's not supposed to be like that here. You know, this is an all-American city, so we're talking about how can we change that? What do we need to do as a community to make things better? Leaders say they're ready for change, but they need the community's help to stop the gun violence, starting with parents. So you got to remember, it's time to get the guns out the kids' hands because the adults are the one allowing them to do it. Because if we step up as parents, we can stop it. If we can get the parents involved, the community involved, it would be great. Now, members of that group mentioned they're meeting with police chief Mike Koval next week to get gun locks to give out in the, com the community so people can handle their guns responsibly and hopefully keep kids safe. Jenna Middaw reporting in our news center tonight. Jenna, thank you.